What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video where we're going to be discussing the newest free Halloween campaign player, Delict from Bayern München. So this guy is now available. Everyone should get him just by logging in. So he's a bonus for the Halloween campaign that they're doing. All you have to do is log in here. You get the little pop-up and then you'll just be able to go. And there you can see here on the tree, we have got the three boys, right? So we've already covered Tell and Limer. This is in my third account or my second account. I'm not too sure. And Delict is going to come in as a, I think he's 85 overall center back. We'll just see here. He's got the new Halloween design as well. And he goes to a 96 overall as far as I know. Now listen, Delict has a couple of weaknesses, but he definitely is one of those center backs that is kind of like the Van Dijk uh, type player, right? I'm going to have a video coming out that I'd say it's been one of my most requested videos of how to train center backs, how to partner center backs beside each other, whether it's a three man center back or a five man or else a four, a flat four at the back with two center backs, right? And the league falls into that category of your main defender with very high defensive skills, uh, as you see here, very high defensive stats, starting with defensive awareness at 84. And then, of course, he also has jumping and physical contact with heading. And he's got a good height. He's over 185, 186, which is a nice height for a, an aerial kind of um, stopper, really. Uh, so, yeah, very, very nice player. I do really like him. I was, you know, kind of sleeping on him for a long time. I didn't really um, use him that often. And then, you know, I decided, look, let's go just give him a proper go uh, towards maybe the end of eFootball 23. And he is he is a beast, lads. He is a beast of a player. Um, I think him and Van Dijk are very, very solid now at the moment, right? So the one weakness that he does have when we go over to eFootball DB here, is going to be his speed and acceleration, which you see there is going to be 68 and 59. That's why you want to use him as your main defender. So even if we pop eight into defending here, we're actually going to be able to get his, um, even with the booster, when we're going to be getting a plus two to all of these stats, right? We're going to be able to get all his defensive capabilities into the 90 zone, as well as having jump, and physical contact above 90, right? So even if we just pop on again into this, if we pop on this into 88, we're going to have a player that is going to have 75 speed. He's going to have 94 awareness, uh, 90 tackling aggression and defensive engagement, 90 header, 92 jump, 94 physical contact, and, you know, nearly 90 stamina. So I think it's a really, really strong card. If you wanted to go to the 95 with defensive awareness, which is what I would do there, I would definitely go with that for 93. And then I would also put two into goalkeeping to get that jump stat as well. If you're able to do that, that is a very nice build. It's only a 95 overall because we've gone a little bit heavier into the lower body strength instead of the jump. But I definitely think that that's the best version of him. That's the best card of him, right? I don't think that he's going to be like a meta type card. And there has been multiple other versions of Delict. The only one change I might make because of his player skills is if you want to just keep him as defensively as possible, you could actually get a few more onto that and bring him up to that 95 with 95 plus two defensive awareness, which is 97. And all those tackling um, aggression and defensive stats into the 93 zone, right? But I personally wouldn't do that. I would probably either just pop two more on to jump to have his jump over 95. And that is a specimen of a defender, lads. Look at that. When you don't really have to pay much attention to his lower body strength or anything like that you're still going to get the speed and the acceleration you know pretty much where you need it to be he's also up to pass as well so i would say that he's probably the pick of the halloween packs if you are a newcomer having these three boys to build your team around is quite nice you've got a good central midfielder or a, a right back as part of a 3-5-2 in limer you've got the lick two is kind of your main defender if you pair him up with a, an explosive mobile center back such as kunde or timber and of course, you've got Tell up front either as a super sub, as your backup, or else as your main guy. So I definitely think that it's a nice campaign. I just wish that there was more to actually do with these cards rather than just collect them. But that's it for me with the Licked. I will talk to you guys later. We'll be streaming in a bit. Hope to see you there for a spooky Halloween one. We'll talk to you then. Peace.